so in today's video uh, I'm going to show you how to change the or upgrade uh, the RAM of HP Omen laptop gaming laptop 9th generation okay so first you need to remove all the screws one here one here one here 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 and here 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 so just remove all these screws first and after that uh, first I need to remove all of them then I will show you how to change or upgrade the RAM basically this laptop came with 8 GB RAM so I need to upgrade it to 16 GB so we will see inside of the laptop whether there are dual module RAM is there 4 4 GB or there is a single 8 GB uh, RAM installed inside one by one open all the screws okay here you can see it is like plastic coating here covering here you need to just uh, clip out this all these linings to open the laptop you can see here line all you need to um, do is to just um, put this inside here and then open it I will need to use my both hands so I will pause it after opening it I will show you uh, what I am going to do inside so let's open it just some plastic clips open like this make sure you have already taken out all the screws otherwise you can break the plastic of the back cover and use careful pulls not so very hard so and the back cover is off here you can see from inside this is a fake caddy for the SSD it has 5 to GB NVMe here and the RAM is under this covering if I remove this here you can see a single module 8 GB already installed so we will add 8 GB more so let's check what is the bus speed of this laptop So right now it is 2666 bus speed so we will try to put the same bus speed RAM I have uh, 2133 bus speed also and 3200 also so right now just we need uh, 2666 bus speed so let's check out which one is
okay this is 2400 Um, I think uh, we can put 2400 at GB as well uh, it will still work because uh, in the older models of the RAM like PC3L and PC3 laptops um, it was a big issue with the RAM matching but in DDR4 most of them work this one is 3200 you can see so we will put this 8GB 2400 or we can change both of them because we have two 2400 bus speed 8GB so just take out the 2600 it's better both RAMs should have same bus speed okay so just put in the slot first like this and then push same way this one just put it inside the slot and then push inside like this and check if it is loose after doing this keep the back cover open and check for the display because if you will close the back cover then again if the display will not come due to any issue maybe RAM matching issue or anything then you will need to remove again the whole um pick cover okay let's turn this on so after changing the ram the display will come after 5 seconds or 10 seconds because the motherboard uh, will rematch everything so here you go display is there so we will check the quantity if it is showing 16 GB or not because sometimes what happens you change the RAM but it shows only one and one RAM uh, will not detect so like in this case uh, if I put two RAMs of 8 GB it will show only 8 GB will not show 16 GB so before packing up the laptop again just make it sure everything is going up to the mark okay so we will just take the properties of my computer this PC properties you can see it is now 16 GB and there is no issues we shut it down properly so that we can uh, see the performance like it is showing any error or not because most of the time if the RAM is not detecting or have any issue has any issue then uh, the windows will give blue screen and loading or maybe in the shutdowning so we will shut it down so, so that we can make it sure windows loading and unloading is ok ok so the laptop is now turned off we will um, put the back cover again and then we are going to put all the screws and we will be then ready to use the laptop with 16 GB uh, RAM which is upgraded from 8 GB that's it 
just put like this back push it in on all the sides clip all the uh, clips like this clicking sound will come and there should not be like any gap like this you can see here yes just push this area you can listen this sound okay here as well some space coming push it in nice and easy okay so we are now ready to put the screws back to their location that's it thank you for watching hope this video will help okay bye bye